Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now it's the beginning of October here in Wales. The racing season is finished. The team in the end didn't do um, as well as we'd hoped, but I suppose that's pigeon racing. It was looking really good. We topped the federation, had an excellent result. I think it was three birds in the first six, which we were really pleased with going into the nationals. But from there on, it didn't really work out. Um, some sort of average performances, and then culminate on the last weekend from Eastbourne, when it turned out to be a complete disaster. Let's see how the team got off. Hello, welcome back to The Loft. Today's Wednesday, the 8th of September. We've actually got two races scheduled for this weekend. Uh, Eastbourne is supposed to be taking place on Saturday with the Welsh South Road National. And then it's off to Ramsgate um, for the other team. And that's with the Welsh South East National. Um, but whether either race will go ahead at the moment is a bit up in the air because the forecast isn't great. So let's hope for a change in the forecast. Well, as you can see, the team, they're looking a bit tired tonight. Actually, just come back from the... Uh, Evening training flight with, uh, with Lee Brown. So once again, shout out to Brownie. Great toss once again. Um, yeah, but whether it's, I think it's the time of year more than anything, but um, it's been a fairly long season for them. And um, I think they know, like we know, that uh, slowly it's going to come to an end. And um, they're still looking well. Really, really good feather. But we've had a bit of a problem. Um, on basking in the birds tonight, we, we actually took six birds out. Uh, because they've developed the dreaded fat eye. Now, fancy as of course, we're all across the UK and no doubt the world would be familiar with fat eye. It's uh, like a respiratory problem um, with the, the eyelids become inflamed. And um, yeah, there's a, it's a nasty old virus. So we've treated the birds with Zovirax. That's our chosen product or medication to use. And we've isolated those birds. So those birds, or those young birds, We've actually moved over to with our spare old bird racing hens. And as you can see, we've smeared the Zavirax on. But you can see, um, you can see their eyelids are a little bit, especially that hen. Of course, it looks a bit mucky because they're Zavirax. But um, as you can see, they are slightly inflamed. But um, yeah, three or four days, that's our experience. A few, few more there we can see. Again, like I said, they do look a bit mucky. But um, yeah, that's because of the Zavirax. But um three or four days and then hopefully they'll be good to go back in the team um, so at the moment we think we have about 25 birds to go to the both races probably be two or three to eastbourne and then 22 maybe to ramsgate so we'll leave it there for today's little clip hopefully the birds make a bit of improvement the ones that have picked that up and uh yeah we'll see you in the next little clip bye for now Hello, here we are, back at the loft of course. We just saw the first two Eastbourne arrivals come in. Absolutely delighted with that. Um, they flew the 173 miles in four hours. What would that be, 52 minutes? Um, probably a little bit off the pace, but um, what an effort. Send two, two together. We'll take that any day. So um, yeah, good effort by the girls. We're just gonna have a little look at them now. There's the Ramsgate birds, all created up. Uh, we think there's about 25. I haven't done an exact count yet, but um, yeah, but about 25 I think we got. As we said in the last little clip, unfortunately, we've had a little bit of fat eye in the loft. So we've had to isolate those birds off and uh, hopefully they'll be okay for next week. Our experience is it takes probably four or five days to clear up, so we should be okay. A little bit of midweek training and uh, off we go again. So let's have a little look at the girls. There they are. So what's that? 
280 kilometers maybe something like that and it's not, notoriously not a straightforward race point he spawned but uh there's the two there's the dark end as you can see she's she's flown god love her and um, she's a son of a pigeon we call Gadano, paid to our Hyde national winner from 2019 and that's the blue end she was first over the pad blue hen there bred by Derek Nichols so um yeah delighted with that so um hopefully things are looking good now ready for Ramsgate tomorrow well done girls put a shift in So now we come to the end of the season. Um, not a good time for P pigeon fanciers. I was speaking to a friend last night and uh, he said he particularly enjoys this time of year because um, he said the hard work that you put in now will hopefully reap rewards in 2022, which is right. But um, nevertheless, a little bit of a boring period for, for us fanciers. So time to get the jobs done. As you can see, we've power hosed down all our baskets and they're drying out now ready for, for some winter shows, which we hope to have in the club this year. Um, and then ultimately, of course, then for next year. So before we have a quick look at the birds, three product products that we're going to use during the off season. Uh, number one, th these will be very familiar with, with, to fanciers, uh, Tolisol Plus, which I believe is Schroeder Tolisson's version of Cerecol, um, which is a, a liver conditioner, which is apparently very good in the moat, um, helps with feather production, different things. So our birds are going to get that once, on the, once a week on the corn. Second one is Omega Plus oil. Any oil I think is good, but this one is, is the Bax version. It isn't cheap. Um, yeah, but there's lots of good oils in there, lots of good Omega oils, and uh, again, good for feather production. So once a week as well, the birds will be getting that on the corn. And the last one is cider vinegar, with the mother included, organic cider vinegar. Um, yeah, and they get that in the water twice a week, uh, just to keep the gut a little bit acidic, and hopefully free of, uh, of any diseases. So... We'll just have a quick look at the team, as we saw from the spawn result. We're a little bit depleted. Um, I think we've got 18 pair of race birds for next year, which, uh, which will be more than enough uh, to go into 2022 with. We've got a, a few young birds, a few late breads that we'll be advertising soon. We bred from our best stock birds. So there's the team. Oh, that will be the team for 2022. You can't see, see them great. It's uh, just come up to... Uh, seven o'clock in the evening so it's getting a little bit dark but um it's starting to molt heavy now so we're feeding them very heavy twice a day two good meals a day plenty of seeds plenty of homoform a few little additives and uh yeah hopefully we'll have a good moat and then here's the hens as you can see the birds spend all day in the aviaries which we think well it's vital at this time of year um to be outside so there's one of them um yeah, more fresh air you can get in them, the better, because we do have a bird of prey problem, like us all. So, um, yeah, we're hopefully going to get the birds out a few times this year in the winter. But, um, yeah, there's the team. They're all roosted up for the night now. So, um, that's us. We have finished installing the new boxes. So, these are the new Hermes boxes that we brought from Hermes Direct in Germany. I think we mentioned it on a previous video. So, we've installed all these now. Got the conveyor belts which will hit make cleaning uh, in 2022 that bit easier so we're a little, little bit undecided at the moment there's 24 boxes as you can see in here uh, whether we're just going to keep our old cocks in here um we'll see but it, it'll probably be a little bit a little bit cramped to be honest with the, with the 18 so we have got the section next door so we've got some shows hopefully coming up in in the abacom boy club which we'll uh, we'll show you we've got an exciting show series that we're going to advertise shortly. So any fanciers in South Wales that, uh, that want to come down on some Friday nights, please keep looking at Facebook and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll post up about that. And then hopefully then we're going to visit some of the best fanciers in Wales um, over this past year and previous years. Um, because another one of my roles is I'm press officer for the, the Welsh National. So hopefully I'll be in touch with some of the best lofts just to see how, how they've been doing it in 2021. So as always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.